So today I was walking through our department and one of our interns asked me a really important question to understand for the EFAST exam. And so we're going to look at this image uh, and discuss that today. I'm meeting today with uh, Dr. Dallin Hawley, who is a first year resident with us who just happened to be in the department and obtained a view of the right upper quadrant and um, asked me some questions about it. So we're going to let him talk to us a little bit about the view he obtained and what his question was. All right. So in order to get the right upper quadrant view, we want to um, have the probe um, at the mid axillary line to mid anterior axillary, the axillary line, and we'll fan posteriorly. Um, we're going to be about the level of the xiphoid, and we'll fan posteriorly until we see that hepatorenal space. So what was your question on this image? We have a drawing here, and then we have your image you obtained. So what was the question? So when I um, looked, I could see kind of this space um, in between the kidney and the liver, and I was wondering if that would constitute a positive fast. Perfect. So what he's seeing is we are going to draw in the liver here. We have the liver in brown and the kidney in red. And so the hepatorenal space or Morrison's pouch is a potential space. And so the question, breaking it down even further, is now that there's space there, does that constitute there being free fluid in the abdomen? So I'm going to take those off so we can see it real quick. And then I'm going to draw in those lines that, that are the edges of those. And so this is something we actually call the double line sign. And that's what we're going to discuss today. And what the double line sign is, is when there is perinephic fat. So when there is fat between the liver and the kidney, whether it's inside the uh, kidney capsule or if it's outside, we will get these two lines. And the right reason why that happens is because between liver and fat, there's a big difference in their acoustic impedance. And then between liver and, or fat and the kidney, there's a big difference. And because of that, as the ultrasound beams traveling through there, it hits that area and it recognizes it as something else, or there's a big reflection back to the ultrasound probe, creating this hyperchoic bright line. And that is what causes or leads to this double track sign or this double line sign. And the double line sign is a easy way to get a false positive uh, exam. So we'll go through a couple images and I'll have Dr. Holly describe the difference between the double line sign on the image he obtained and on one that is positive for free fluid. All right. So uh, kind of like what Dr. Marks was saying, you can see the double line sign here. So hyperechoic lines um, at the edge of the liver and then the, the kidney as well. Um, here on the right is an actual positive fast. So you can see that on the um, edge of the liver, we don't have that hyperechoic line. And then we, we don't have it on the kidney either. Um, sometimes you can see the hyperechoic line that represents the capsule of the kidney but you won't see the hyperechoic line on the edge of the liver. So this is what a positive fast, a true positive fast exam would look like. And then on the left is kind of a, what we would consider a false positive or a double line sign. Perfect. Now we're going to look at one here. So tell me the difference between these two here. So on the right, we actually have double line sign with a positive fast superimposed on it. So um, we can see that double line sign here, so here's one of our hyperechoic lines, and then this other hyperechoic line here, and this um, kind of uh, area in between representing that fat. But then above that, we see the anechoic fluid that represents a positive fast exam. So you can have a positive fast exam and a double line sign at the same time. Yeah, and the key being um, along the liver edge. So if we pull this up, we have the double line sign drawn in. And right here at the edge of that, we don't see a hyperechoic line at the edge of the liver. That's the biggest thing that we want to pay attention to. And so that gives us, a, as you stated, a positive EFAST or right upper quadrant for free fluid with a double line sign or perinephric uh, fat. So we're going to just take a look here. So this is the same patient. So one other thing to pay attention to is that typically they'll have the, the same finding on both sides. So in the right upper quadrant, in the upper left corner, we see the liver and the kidney. And then on the right side of the screen, we see the left upper quadrant being the spleen 
and the kidney. And we see that on both sides, there is a double line sign that's separating those areas. And typically you'll see that, not always, but you'll typically see that on both sides uh, if somebody has that present. Now, granted, they can have free fluid on both sides too, but hopefully you're looking for that double hyperechoic line, lines, and that would be your double line sign. So thanks for watching. I'm glad Dr. Holly asked me this question. It's something that I've been meaning to make some education on recently. And this is a, I've seen people go to the OR based off of these findings and we want to make sure we know what we're looking at. So hopefully you found that educational. And if you did, please subscribe and like this video and uh, let us know what else we can do as far as education for point of care ultrasound with you in the future.